His Royal Majesty, Oba Dr. Adedako Adewale Tejosho C.O.N., the Oshile Okeonoi by Inogun State of Nigeria, who is gradually but steadily closing in on 30 years on the throne and 80 years surgeon on earth, a globally recognized medical doctor of first reference, sacrificed personal comfort and riches when he decided to join the prestigious and most revered league of the traditional institution of Nigeria, not for any other reason, but simply to put at the disposal of his people and by extension Ogun State and Nigeria in general. His wealth of experience, connections at vital places, and the goodwill he has garnered in his interactions over the years. In retrospect, without any out of equivocation, the people of Okeonoeba and indeed Ogun State are the better for it as a supreme custodian of the cultures and traditions of our people, to whom the people, especially at the grassroots, pay unflinching allegiance. His Royal Highness Oba Adewale Tejosho has synergized with his colleagues over the years to make sure that peace, which is a major prerequisite for development, reigns supreme across the land. With that, Oba Dr. Adidakbo Tejosho has earned the respect and adulation of his people. And that's why the people of Okeono Eba and Ogun State in general came out in impressive numbers to join Nigerians from different works of life across the land at the 60th birthday anniversary celebration of Olori Yetunde Oluwa Fumilayo Tejosho, one of his three very fashionable, gorgeous, beautiful wives who are beginning to cut the image of identical triplets in their ways and mannerisms, always showing extreme warmth and respect to everyone. The first leg of the activities of the Diamond Jubilee Anniversary Celebration of Olori Yetunde Olua Fumilayo Tejosho began with a special Thanksgiving service. This took place at the Cathedral of St. James's African Church Idiagbe Agoko Abeokuta in Ogun State of Nigeria. The Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Chief Mrs. Yetunde, led a very long list of dignitaries, while the Oluwu of Owu Kingdom, Oba Dr. Adegbo Dosumu, who was accompanied by his wife, led the very long legion of traditional rulers from Ogun State and environs. The celebrant was ushered to read the first lacing of the service by her husband, Oba Dr. Tejo Sho, who also escorted her back to her seat. The Bible reading for today, taken from the book of Psalm, Psalm 25. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy path. Lead me in thy truth. And teach me to be thou at the, at the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait. All the day. When sings my soul, my Savior God to me, how great the heart, how great the heart. Behold our matchless conqueror in the book of Revelation, sitting upon a white horse, called faithful and true. He righteousness he judges and make war on his head a very kingly crown diadems of universal dominion on his vesture 
and Thai is that great name written King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Apart from the choir ministrations and songs, the children and grandchildren of the celebrant thrill the congregation with very exciting performances on the piano. This was all to add to the joy of the celebrant at such occasion. Happy In the sermon of the officiating minister at the Diamond Jubilee anniversary celebration of Olori Yechunde Tejosho, he congratulated her for attaining such a unique milestone in her life. He advised her to continue to be a very well behaved, warm, and amiable person. Attributes which people from far and near have taken studied attention of, and that's why, among other things, we have a very high attendance at the church service. The officiating minister concluded. I want to appreciate God in the life of our mommy, Olumi, Yefidu, Olufumilayo, Tejusho. Mommy, God bless you. Message your loni, I your yeshu ni baje. On God, you are always happy, and I know Christ is the source of your joy. That Christ will not leave you in Jesus' name. I want to congratulate our KBAC and our beautiful Olori on this occasion of her Diamond Jubilee. I want to thank God for his faithfulness, his grace and his abundant blessings upon your life. If you look back and count your blessings, I know today you are naming them one by one, and God Almighty will continue to make you to count your blessings and name them one by one. I want to thank God for you, for your life, what God has used you to do, and what you are all still going to do in your generation. Trust the Oshile Okeonoeba, His Royal Highness Oba Dr. Adidak Bote Joshua, who has steadfastly led the crusade for millennium change in the traditional institution in these parts over the years to pull off another stunner. This time around, he and his beautiful wife, the celebrant, Olori Yetunde Te Joshua, decided to renew their marital vows, a union which is clearly over a quarter of a century, which has produced many men and women as children and even grandchildren. That was the high point of the church service, which also had a very long drawn out session of thanksgiving. Here, friends, relations and well wishers join the hearty celebration. <laughs> As the church service wound up, the chief host, Oba Dr. Adidak Bote Joshua, ushered out his jewel of inestimable value, who dazed, dazzled, glittered, and shimmered like a newlywed. That must have brought back flashes of the exciting memories of when she was taken to the altar by Kabisi Oba Dr. Tejosho many years back.
The next port of call was the Olusegun Basanjo Presidential Library, OOPL McKee, behind the NNPC Mega Station in Abeokuta, the Ogun State Capital. Easily the best, most spacious event venue in Abeokuta today. Please, if that was an erroneous slip, I'm willing to take corrections in good faith. The entire environment, which had been most creatively decorated in tandem with the color code chosen for the day, raw, purple, and purple, was a kaleidoscope of people who turned out in the happening designs and styles of dresses in this special color. The description of Nigerians as the happiest people on earth, which has gained global affirmation over time, found a veritable platform to further prove this assertion at the Olori Tejo Show's Diamond Jubilee Anniversary Celebration. Add that to the undisputed fact that Nigerians are the most fashionable people, not only among the blacks, but the entire world. Nigerian women stand out distinctly as the most fashion-forward people. Now, the best way to celebrate Olori Yetunde Tejo Show and indeed Olori Omolora and Labisi Tejo Show, who are trendsetters in fashion in their different rights, was the avant-garde fashion and style revolution that was ignited at the celebration. All the women, keeping strictly to the stipulated color code, turned out in their most flamboyant best. The men didn't do badly too, as they adorned caps of the royal purple color, mostly in white traditional garbs. Former head of state, Chief Ernest Shoneko and wife, Mrs. Margaret Shoneko, and the first lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shoamusun, led the dignitary list at the reception. The heir apparent to the throne, Senator Dr. Larry Tejosho, his brothers, sisters, and the enlarged Tejosho family must be commended for galvanizing their friends in all spheres, especially the political front of the event. As for music, the twin combination of Demola Olota and the click vocals for the young and the young at heart, and of course the originator of the Miliki sound, Chief Commander Binizobe for the older generation, made sure that the atmosphere at the event was kept very lively and exciting all through. Compared by Tunde Adewale, alias TA, the main highlight of the event was the cutting of the birthday cake. And who took charge? The first lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shoamosin, was strictly in control. Um, on behalf of the birthday girl, as the chairman of the occasion, I would like to charge everyone to make sure that we have fun here today it's um, a day of celebration. We've all been invited here to celebrate 60 years of Olori, Yetunde, Teju Osho. May we all have reasons to celebrate in our lives as well. And as we've all come here to rejoice with her, may we have reason to rejoice with each and every one of you in your various homes as well. I intend to enjoy myself today I've apologized and explained why I'm just coming because normally I don't miss anything for any occasion or any celebration um, that is held or hosted by this family. Sorry I'm late, but I'm here now and I intend to enjoy the rest of the day. I hope everybody else will too. Thank you and God bless. To God be the glory. This is a beautiful location. We give praises and thanks to Almighty God. The Lord is present here. I won't call the name of Jesus to call the cake because he's around us. When I say 60, you caught. One. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. 40, 50, thank you, sir. 60. Congratulations. God bless you. With the husband of the celebrant and other dignitaries, like Mrs. Bola Basanjo and Mrs. Harry Akondi in attendance. The celebrant's dance took another innovative dimension as Oba Dr. Adedakbo Ted Yoshu and his wife, the celebrant, took the audience back to how it was when the boat got married many decades ago. Demola Lotta was totally in charge of proceedings at this end. Oh, 
Celebrant, her husband, and others all danced to the Miliki sound of Chief Commander Binizobe later on. The celebrant, Olori Yetunde Ulua Fumilayo Te Joshu, was later joined by her friends, children, and family members as she danced and danced and danced to thank God for keeping her alive till 60. While heartily welcoming Olori Yetunde Tejo Show to the diamond age of 60, which I to the glory of God attained three years ago, I wish to assure her from hindsight that the age of 60, which my friend and brother Rufai Ladipo describes as the new 40, is indeed the beginning of a new life for those of us in that generation. I'm willing to give tutorials for free on how to manage life at 60. <laughs> 